Welcome to this video tutorial for completing a health facility license renewal using the Nevada Online Healthcare Licensing System, which we call CLICS. This system applies to the various facility types that are licensed through the Bureau of Healthcare Quality and Compliance. And in November of each year, approximately 1,400 various health facilities throughout Nevada will be up for renewal, and all facilities must complete the renewal process using the online system. This video will walk you through that process. Before you renew online, please watch our prior videos about using CLICS. You'll find them in the Health Facilities section of the Division of Public and Behavioral Health website, described in the first bullet you see here. In particular, the videos will discuss the renewal checklist for each facility type that describes the documents you must have scanned and ready for upload to complete your renewal. The fee schedule is available as well, so you know what to expect in the way of a renewal fee. Also know that you will no longer be able to update information that requires an amendment application during renewal. This system does not allow it. The easiest way to access the Nevada Online Licensing System for Health Facilities is to type myhealthfacilitylicense.nv.gov into your web browser address bar. Be sure to enter this into the address bar not into a search engine such as Google, to be directed to the system. Also, you can go to dpbh.nv.gov, click Health Facilities under Quick Links, then scroll down to Online Licensing and Certification System under the orange Provider Tools header. Either way, you'll end up at the Licensing System login page, which looks like this. Once you've signed in using your username and password, this is the screen you'll see. Please note that you'll choose the Renew option from the menu on the left. The instructions for renewal are on the main page a little lower down. After choosing the Renew option, you will come to this page. To confirm that your Nevada State business license is still active and does not need to be renewed, click on the Silver Flume button circled here in blue. Fill in your facility's current license or credential number, circled in green. And don't forget to fill in your business hours, circled in red. Once these items have been completed, you will click the Next button, located at the right side of the page, both at the top and the bottom. If you don't use the Next button, your information will not be saved. On the next page, the Physical Address section, seen here in the red square, will not allow you to make any updates because this needs to be completed through an amendment application for a change of location. The other boxes, mailing address and secondary contact, will allow you to make changes without an amendment application. Once you're satisfied with the information you've provided, click Next to save and continue on with your application. On the next page, called Credential Information, Make sure that all the information is correct and in the correct place. For example, your facility's endorsements may not be in the correct area and might be listed in the restrictions box. Changes cannot be made at this point, so if there are any discrepancies, contact our licensing unit to make the fix. In the last column under Requested Action, be sure to select Renew. Then use the Next button to save and move on to the next page. The next page for additional information has a field for the facilities that have beds or bays or stations, etc. But this information cannot be updated here. If this information is not correct and needs to be updated, stop where you are in the application and call 775-684-1030 for assistance. If your facility requires a surety bond, it will show up in your renewal fields. There's an add button on the right hand corner of the box which you must click in order to start the process. After clicking Add next to Surety Bond information, you will be presented with this screen. Please fill in all of the information requested. If your bond does not have an expiration date, use an anniversary date seven years out from the effective date that you've listed. Once you've completed this information, click the Save button. The main page screen will have the information you just input in the surety bond section. 
Please note that at the end of the surety bond section will be a blue link for documents. Click on this link in order to upload the surety bond document from your computer. When you click on the blue document link, you will get this upload page. This page will look the same for uploading various document types throughout this process. Please note that there's an add button on the right side of the screen that you must click on to continue. Clicking add will bring up this screen and then you click browse to find the document you want to upload. Then after you click browse, find the document you need on your computer and then click open. After clicking open, add any comments you feel are pertinent, and when completed, click the upload button at the bottom of the page to save your work. If you make a mistake and upload the wrong document, you may use the delete button on the right hand side to remove the document. But please note that the delete option will disappear after you click upload, so be sure to double check beforehand. After you close the screen to upload surety bond documents and return to the main page, Click Add on the right side of the area marked Liability Insurance Information. Then this screen will appear and you will input information about your liability insurance, including policy number, provider name, expiration date, and effective date. You can also enter any comments if you feel it's necessary. Then click Save and Close. Once you've completed your liability insurance information, you will move on to the accreditation area. If you do not have accreditation, please do not use the Add button to add anything. It will allow you to bypass. If you're a new Surgical Center for Ambulatory Patients, ASC for short, or an outpatient facility, OPF for short, and are required by state regulations to be accredited, you can bypass this section for the first six months of your licensure. But after that time frame, you must complete the accreditation section. Please complete the requested documentation using the drop-down menus if they're available. Follow the directions for uploading the accreditation document just as you did for the surety bond and or the liability sections of this application. If you do not complete the sections as required and include the uploaded documents, you will receive an error message at the top in a mustard colored square. The error message will give you the information on what is missing or incomplete. This must be done in order to complete the application. As you can see from the error messages at the top and the boxes pointed out down below, the instructions are very explicit. Please complete all areas of the application that are required. You will need to click the next button just like before to save and upload the information. The next section of the application will require you to answer some questions. Please read each question carefully and provide the answer for your facility. When the questions have been answered, click the next button to save the information and move on to the next section. If you've made any errors, you will need to correct them before you can submit your application. Once the application has been submitted, you will be taken to the fees page. On this page, the facility fee and the bed fees, if applicable, will be calculated to show you what your total renewal fee will be. Please follow the instructions written in red when completing the application. If you choose not to complete the application at this point, you can log out and it will be saved. You can complete it at a later date and you'll only need to redo the questions page and the attestation page. You can also use the edit application button to check all the screens again to make sure everything is there and complete. And when you're ready, you can proceed to pay now. Once you've submitted the application, the last step will be to pay your fee. You can use any of the options that are listed under credit cards or e-check. As a side note, wire transfers are no longer required for amounts over $10,000. After you pay, you will see a screen that is similar to the previous one that contains a checklist itemizing your renewal payment. Once you've completed the application and paid the fee, your application will need to be reviewed by HCQC staff for completeness. We will send you a renewal sticker in the mail once your renewal application is approved. 
Your current license is good through December 31st of this year, and the sticker will indicate a valid license through December 31st of next year. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video helps with your health facility renewal using the Nevada Online Licensing System. If you're still having difficulties, you can call either the Carson City or Las Vegas HCQC office, or send an email to pbhlicensing at health.nv.gov. And don't forget, renew your health facility license by November 15th, or you will be assessed a late fee equal to 50% of your renewal fee. So in the end, if you're late to renew, you'll end up paying the renewal fee plus another 50%, so it pays to be on time.